A square prism of side 30 mm and axis side 60 mm is resting on its base on HP. With all sides of base are equally inclined with the vertical plane. A section plane perpendicular to the vertical plane and inclined to HP at 45 degree cuts the prism such that it passes through a point of the axis at a distance of 12 mm below the top base. Assuming the major part to be retained, draw the projection of a prism showing front view, sectional top view, sectional side view, true sectional uh, TSS and development. So now in this sum, they have given that it is cut by an auxiliary inclined plane. So it will come in front view. I mentioned 12 mm from top base. So we will draw a cutting plane line inclined at 45 degree passing through this point 12 mm from top. This line is inclined at 45 degree. So this much portion will be retained. When you cut like this, the upper portion will go away. Now how many points we are getting? If you see A dash, so we here we will get one point A dash. Over here there are two edges. P dash, D dash. So here we will get PP dash and PD dash. Here, now whenever you cut top surface, you get two points that is PU dash and PB dash. We will project this point down wherever it will cut in top view that is PU and PB. After that, this point PB dash and PD dash. So that I will get over here PD and PB. This point I will get it over here that is PA. So this much portion will be hatched in top view. Now for side view we will project points from front view PA dash. It is on A dash. So on A double dash wherever PA double PA dash will intersect the line from PA dash that would be PA double dash. Same way from B dash D dash. Wherever it will intersect with B double dash that will be PB double dash and this would be PD double dash. Now PU dash and PB dash that we cannot project from front view. So whenever we can't project from front view we should project from top view. So we will project from top view, PU, PV. So this will be PU double dash, this is PV double dash. This line will go away. This part will be dark. All these edges will be dark. And this edge will be dotted because when you see from this side this edge C dash you won't be able to see so that will be dotted this we need to hatch now see this It looks like this. So now we draw development of a square prism. Now in this case, we will take a height and we will take side equals to AB and we will cut four times because we are doing square prism. So we will cut one, two, three, four. We will name them as A, B, C, D, A. After that, we will take points from PA dash so wherever it will cut on A that is point PA and PA then we will extend PB dash and PD dash wherever it will intersect on D that is PB, PD 
and on B it will be PB. Now P U dash and P B dash. Now this point you can't project from front view. So that time we will go from top view. What we will do? We will take C to P U in our compass. And from C you cut out this side. See this. It is between B and C. This point P U. Take C to P U in your compass. And from C you cut out this side. So you get P U. Same way. You take C to PB in your compass and from C you cut off this side. That is PB. Now join this with a straight line. This much portion will be done. The rest all will be left. Now we will draw true sectional shape. So what we need to do, we need to draw our horizontal line and cut this cutting plane line on it. So we mark point PA dash. We take this distance, we we'll cut on this side, that is PP dash and PD dash. Then we we'll take this distance, we we'll cut on this. This is PU dash and PB dash. Then we project from PA dash and we project A, PA from here. So we get one point. Then we project PB dash and PB dash. We we'll extend PB from here and PB from here. Then we we'll extend PU dash and PB dash. And from here we we'll extend PB and PU. PA. Enjoy that. This is PSS. We draw match length at forty five. 